Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I thought I'd throw another project about the circuit playground. We built uh, basically a thermometer for telling temperature between 30 and 70. So if you don't know about the circuit playground, it comes with all kinds of sensors. I'm using it to teach my kids how to program hardware. Uh, they seem to be doing pretty well. This lesson, uh, most recent lesson, was about if-else statements. So they built, they designed their own code on whiteboards, and then we programmed the boards. So like if, if temperature is between 60 and 70, light up the lights green. If it's between 50 and 60, light them blue for cold. If it's above 70, make them all red, stuff like that. So I let them pick the parameters and I let them pick the color and uh, they had fun doing if else statements. So I took it one step further. I'm like, I wonder if I can get these to light up for the exact temperature. So when you're viewing this, uh, I thought I would <clears throat> see what temperature my garage was. It's like 30 degrees outside, but inside my house is a cozy 70. So I have no idea where the garage is. So. Let me tell you how this is set up. So the top left orange light, if that's lit, it's somewhere in the 60s. And then on the right hand side, the blue one, that means that represents four. And uh, let me explain my logic. So this one right here, that's seven. It's for 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s. And then on the other side is, since I don't have 10 lights, the top one would be seven, eight, or nine, and then six, five, four, three, two, or one. And then when the other one goes off, it's a zero. So right now you saw it drop from 64 to 63. So it'll probably take a few minutes to drop it's the three degrees to get us to the 50s. So we'll just let this play and then I'll fast forward it to the uh, to wherever it ends up stabilizing. All right, it's blinking back and forth between 60 and 61 probably. And uh, there it goes, it'll probably settle on 60. Here in a minute. So I was just gonna say if you're wondering if uh, how I got the tens place to read on the left and the ones place to read on the right, it's pretty easy. You just read the temperature and then you know you assign that to a variable, divide that variable by 10, take the modulus, and then use the modulus as your ones place. Uh, when you're programming on make code. They don't call it modulus, you know, like traditional languages. They would call it uh, get the remainder of, you know, because you got to remember it's targeting new programmers and uh, kids. So modulus would be super foreign, but they know what the remainder is if they've done any kind of uh, division. So uh, you can see it's flipping back and forth, and then it finally ended up on the 50s on the left and 59 Nine, eight, and seven really is what that light represents. So far, it's uh, so it's dropping, dropping slowly. We'll see where it ends up. Well, I've waited long enough. It looks like my garage is somewhere in the upper fifties, fifty-seven, eight, or nine degrees. So, um, again, this is the circuit playground from Adafruit.com. I bought one for me and one for each of my kids. And uh, we go through lessons every Friday, and sometimes I'll post the videos, kind of give a summary of what we learned. Uh, anyway, check out some of these other videos, and uh, please subscribe, because I'm one of those ones with not enough subscribers to earn money, and uh, that'd be nice to start earning money again. So if you uh, like what you see, subscribe, and uh, we'll, oh, well, look at that. So subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.